From the courts of Europe to the bright lights of America, these EuroLeague players have been making waves overseas, and now they're finally making their mark on the biggest stage in basketball. They're taking the league by storm and showing that the EuroLeague isn't just a stepping stone, it's a launching pad to greatness. So sit back and grab your popcorn. If you are a basketball fanatic, then you're probably familiar with both Luka and Wambanyama. If not, then let me introduce you to them. Luka is a four-time All-Star leading the Dallas Mavericks to new heights since his arrival. He's an MVP type player and it's no secret that the Mavericks are on a roll because of him. He is also currently leading the NBA in total points scored this season and is ranked second in points per game with an average of 33.4 points. The only player above him is Joel Embiid with an average of 33.6 points per game. Now to Wambanyama. At 7'4", Wambanyama is a French phenom playing for the boulogne levoy Metropolitans 92 in the LNB Pro A, the highest level of French basketball. With his raw talent and potential, he's projected to be the number one draft pick of 2023. His towering height, jaw-dropping athleticism, and game-winning shots have captured the hearts of fans everywhere, and it's not hard to see why. I know what you're thinking now. How can this person compare a four-time All-Star and MVP contender to an NBA future number one draft pick? Well, that's exactly what I want to talk about today, so stay tuned and let's dive in. But before we dive in, let's ask one crucial question. Was Luka considered a better prospect leading to the 2018 NBA draft compared to what Wemby is now? Well, let's find out. Who was the better prospect? This is a tough one, as I personally had a lot of love for Luka as a prospect leading up to the draft, but when it comes to the question of who was better, opinions do vary. Some might say Luka was the better prospect, while others might argue that Wambanyama is the superior choice. So first, let's talk about Luka Doncic. With his numerous awards and impact on Real Madrid, he's definitely the more polished prospect. His skills on the court are unmatched, and he's a real asset to any team. Wambanyama, though, may not have the same awards and recognition as Luka, but what he does have are pure athletic tools and two-way potential. If you're looking for someone who can bring it on both ends of the court, then Wemby is your guy. He is already receiving more recognition as a generational prospect compared to Luka prior to the draft. The buzz surrounding Wambanyama is growing as he is quickly being known as one of the top prospects in the game. But as I have said, it all comes down to what you're looking for. If you want a more polished player, then Luka is your man. But if you're looking for someone with raw physical tools and two-way potential, then Wemby is going to be the way to go. Both players do bring a unique skill set to the table. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty details. NBA Draft As you all know, Luka was originally drafted as a third pick by the Atlanta Hawks before being traded to the Mavericks for the fifth overall pick, Trey Young, and a future first-round selection. It is important to note that everything Luka did in Europe up to the draft screamed I am the best 18-year-old ever in Europe. And many believe that he should have been the number one pick, but as usual, NBA decision makers are hesitant when it comes to players they're unfamiliar with. And for them, a ball handler of Luka's caliber coming from Europe was entirely out of their comfort zone. Currently, many experts are projecting Wambanyama as the number one pick in the 2023 NBA draft class, unlike Luka. And Wemby, being considered a franchise-changing player, makes the 2023 NBA draft one of the most anticipated since LeBron James came into the league back in 2003. The impact that LeBron had on the game of basketball is currently unmatched, and many believe that Wambanyama could have a similar impact. Let me know your thoughts on this one in the comment section below. EuroLeague In Luka's last season in the EuroLeague, he stepped up as the primary offensive piece for Real Madrid. Due to Sergio Lowell's torn ACL injury, Doncic, at just 18 years old, took on a leading role and proved he had what it takes. He averaged a remarkable 25.9 points, 4.8 rebounds, and 4.3 assists per game, finally winning the 2018 EuroLeague Final Four MVP, becoming the youngest MVP in the history of the EuroLeague. And just like Luka, Wambanyama has played the double competition of the French League and the EuroLeague. He hasn't played as much as Luka in the EuroLeague, but he has made the most of his time on the court. 
Currently, he is averaging 21.9 points, 9.6 rebounds, and 3.3 blocks in just 31.8 minutes of play with the Metropolitan's 92. Defense. Wemby is a defensive monster, and that's not going to show up fully in the box score. I do legitimately believe that Wambanyama could make a case for Defensive Player of the Year in his first year just with his lateral quickness and shot blocking abilities. With an 8 foot wingspan, he uses his length to shut down every single shot around the basket. To put it into perspective, he racked up 8 blocks in just one game against Team USA. And what's even more impressive is that he was two years younger than everyone on that team that included Chet Holgram, the second overall pick of 2022, Jaden Ivey, the fifth overall pick of 2022, and Johnny Davis, the 10th overall pick of 2022. And that's just to mention a few. He's dominant on the court and practically shuts down teams all by himself. I mean, just look at these blocks. Costello trying to get a seal on Lighty. Opens up an avenue for Peters! And Wembanyama says, May no more not me! To sum it up, Wembanyama is a defensive juggernaut. On the other hand, Luka is one of the most talented offensive players in the game today. However, his focus on offense has had some negative impact on his defense. Let's be real here, guys. Doncic is never going to be the next Giannis Antetokounmpo, Hakeem Olajuwon, or Michael Jordan when it comes to defense, but several of his offensive strengths translate to the defensive end. He is an absolute giant for a guard. His size and length have been crucial in helping him defensively as he uses it to get deflections and steals. In this clip, you can see him using his size to disrupt his opponents from passing by deflecting passes and shots. A couple of fakes. Ball gets knocked away, Doncic with the steal. Doncic looking for the angle, he's got it for two. Let's now focus on the other end of the court, offense. As I have stated, Luka is a beast on offense. Some consider him the best offensive player to come into the league since KD. He's on a historic run right now, putting up some of the best numbers we've ever seen in the game of basketball. He's averaging 33.3 points per game, 8.7 rebounds per game, and 8.5 assists per game, which is truly remarkable. Wambanyama plays like a forward on offense, using his fluid athleticism to his advantage. He's got a silky smooth jumper and the handle to create for himself off the dribble. It's no wonder why he's being compared to some of the greats in the game. Being one of the most hyped prospects the NBA has seen in a very long time, LeBron had a few things to say about him. Everybody has been a unicorn for the last two years, but he's more like an alien. I've never seen, no one has ever seen anyone as tall as he is, but as fluid and as graceful as he is on the floor. After the Luka Doncic fiasco, it was evident that the NBA will be more than ready to welcome top European talent, especially when a player is a phenomenon that seems to be the true heir of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and armed with a jump shot. It may seem like a bold statement, but I don't think it's crazy to say that Wambanyama could be the best player in the league in five years, barring any injury. Just looking at his stats and watching him on film, he looks like the perfect center for the modern game and for the future. And let's not forget about Luka. Watching him play is like watching greatness in action. It's no surprise that he's already being talked about as a potential MVP. The question now is, have the Mavericks got what it takes to make Luka an MVP.